Hi, I'm Valerie Bertinelli. Thanks for joining me today. Let's cook together, okay? Today, let's make a delicata squash and arugula salad with pesto shrimp and Parmesan frico. I know that sounds like a lot of stuff coming at you, but it makes for such a beautiful salad that you can eat as a meal or it can be a side, whatever you want. And it really looks pretty. This could be a really great holiday side. If you're cooking along with me, before we get started, let's make sure that our oven is at 425 degrees because we're gonna roast the delicata squash. All right, this is delicata squash. And the reason I love it so much is because the skin is so soft and edible. So it's really easy to roast up in the oven. We're gonna get each side cut off. It almost doesn't look real. It looks like something my mom would paint. It's so pretty. Now let's get this cut down the middle. We want little half moons in our salad. Hmm. It's a <laughs> just trying to get through it. It says delicata, but it's just going to give you a little trouble as you're trying to cut through it. <laughs> this is very similar to butternut squash. If you can't find delicata, I'm sure you can find butternut. And just to get these seeds right out, grab a spoon and get the seeds right out. Just get all of the stringy stuff out. And the next one. Delicata seeds going everywhere. Okay, now we'll just get these into little half moons. This is such a great winter squash. Very similar flavors to butternut and in the same family as yellow squash and zucchini. But it adds a really great texture to this salad, buttery and creamy with peppery arugula. And then an unexpected pesto shrimp to join it. I like putting flavors together in a salad that you can eat as an entire meal and not just as a side. And this is one of those salads. So we have all of our squash. I'm gonna get it into a bowl and get some salt and pepper and some olive oil on there. So get all your squash in a bowl. Get a little olive oil. Get the olive oil all over it. This is gonna help it not stick to the baking pan. Also, it's gonna help the seasoning stick on it. So we need some salt. and some pepper. Get this mixed up together. Get all the salt and the pepper, all the different half moons. Just get it all covered. Just spread that evenly. You want every surface of the delicata to hit the tray because that's what's gonna brown it up and caramelize it. As it hits the heat of the tray, it's gonna get caramelized and softened up. There we go. So into a 425 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And as that, roast in the oven, we can get the shrimp frying in the pan. So first thing we want to do, we've got our shrimp, cleaned and deveined shrimp, ready to go, ready to be marinated in some pesto. So we just need a couple tablespoons. And this is just to get that yummy pesto, nutty, basil flavor all over the shrimp. We're also going to repeat it in the dressing so it all goes together. Let's get the pan heated up. 
with a little bit of oil. So you get some oil in there. And heat this guy up. There we go. I'm gonna stir this up a bit more. You want pesto covering every bit of shrimp. Lovely. Shrimp cooks really quickly. So it's kind of great timing as this is cooking for 15 minutes. This can saute for two to three minutes on either side. You can continue to get the rest of the ingredients together. It should all come together in about 20 minutes. That's an easy weeknight meal. I always like to keep an eye on what order I put the shrimp in so that when I flip them, I go around and flip them in the same order that they went in. You flip the first one that went in first, and then just keep going around clockwise. That's the little method to my madness, if it's helpful for you. And the one in the middle gets flipped last. So these are cooking pretty quickly. They only take about two or three minutes on each side, depending on how hot your pan is. I'm gonna turn this down to a medium. You can always tell the shrimp how done they are. What you're gonna see is they start to turn pink. And they, they are translucent, and then they're gonna get opaque. So you just keep an eye on them as they go around. Now what I'm gonna do while I'm keeping an eye on these guys, I'm gonna start grating my Parmesan cheese. A Parmesan Frico is just a little Parmesan cracker. That's all it is. Parmesan, heat it up in the oven until it's nice and crisp. It's so divine and so perfect for this salad. So the important thing about making a Parmesan Frico is to grate your own cheese. If you get pre-grated cheese, there's a good chance they might cover it in cornstarch or something. That's to help preserve it. We want fresh, freshly grated cheese. So grate it yourself. I'm talking to you, I'm grating cheese, and we're keeping an eye on the shrimp. And I'm thinking one of those, those shrimps need to start being turned. So I'm gonna take a look at it. Remember we started with this guy, and then we worked our way around. So let's start with the guy we put in first and see how he's doing. Beautiful. Look at that, how the nuts and the pesto really caramelize. That's lovely. And you can still see the pinkish, pinkish tail. I gotta give these guys time to catch up to the first one. I'll continue. These turned around. Beautiful. So these guys won't take long at all on the other side. I'm going to turn them really down. Don't ever like to overcook shrimp. You really want it to be tender when you bite into it. And if you overcook it, it tends to get a little rubbery. So you really wanna keep an eye on it. And I'm actually gonna pull this off now because what happens is it's gonna to continue to cook as it's cooling down. So I'm gonna start with the very first one. Again, he was right here. And pop him on. We'll just take a really quick, yes, yeah, so you can see, I'll show you the other side, and you can see that it's cooked through. I always like to pull them off just a touch early because they continue to cook, and then they'll be beautifully tender. There we 
we go. Let's turn the pan off. These guys are ready to go. Let's get rid of the pan. Okay. Time to make our frico. So I'll give you a few little tips on how to make this. You can make it by hand. You don't need a cookie cutter or a biscuit cutter, but it, it tends to help me because I like to keep them even. So I'm gonna get make six of them. I'm gonna start here in this corner and grab just a tablespoon of cheese, a nice heaping tablespoon. Yeah. And just put that in and fluff it around. There you go. And just spread it around in there. And if it gets lacy on the edges, you do want that. I'm just doing this to so they stay even. You can do this by hand, please feel free. These will not take long. You saw how light and fluffy they were grated. So this is just gonna take about five minutes. They're gonna turn into these beautiful little crispy Parmesan crackers. There we go. So while the delicata and the frico bakes in the oven, let's put our dressing together. Got some champagne vinegar, and this is where we're gonna call back on the pesto again. So we'll get a little pesto in your shaker. I love shaking my dressings. If I'm not making the dressing at the bottom of a bowl, I like to shake them up. Now, this pesto already has some olive oil in it, so we're not gonna get, add as much olive oil as I normally would in a dressing. Got about a quarter cup in there. And then a couple tablespoons and a half of champagne vinegar. Champagne vinegar is a nice light, it's a nice light vinegar, like champagne, which is a nice light aerated drink. So we get a little bit of that and then a little bit of olive oil. Remember there's already olive oil in the pesto, so we don't need too much. and then shake it right up. So just grab your arugula, some pomegranate seeds for good luck. We always need luck around this time of year. So we're just gonna get a little bit on our greens reserving some for the rest, and get our greens tossed up. Get all of the arugula covered with the dressing. It's a nice, thick dressing. There we go. Sometimes just a good old salad tastes great for dinner, and when you pack it with shrimp and squash, and tons of flavor, you don't need anything else. And look how quickly it comes together. There we go. Now I can start to lay the shrimp in because the delicata squash should be coming out any minute. So I'm gonna just lay the shrimp in there delicately, all around, because this is what I like about dressing your greens first because then you can lay all of the other stuff in really, really pretty and really feast with your eyes first. There we go. Now let's get the squash. We have our 
squash and our frico. It smells so good in here. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's so pretty. It's so delicate, <laughs> like delicata. Just get this all around. It's such a beautifully colorful salad. I can't resist. Mmm, 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 mmm. See, when you roast veggies, that's when they taste the best. Okay, let's see these fricos. When they, as they cool, they will get crispy. So we're gonna just give them a little bit of chance to cool down a bit, right? In the meantime, I wanna get the rest of the dressing on. I wanna get it right over the squash. And then to add some color, these beautiful pomegranate seeds. All of them. We all need all the luck we can get. Okay, let's see. This cooled off a little bit. Yes, just enough. See, when it cools, it'll get nice and crispy right now. Mmm. Mmm, it's just Parmesan cheese. Heat it up to a beautiful crisp. I mean, how always use that? Let's build a plate. And as they cool, they will get crispier. Beautiful. Let's make a plate, shall we? Make sure we get a little bit of everything. Some shrimp, some delicata, arugula. Pomegranate seeds. Some frico. Parmesan frico. Oh, that's such a pretty little dish. Really, look at the colors. I mean, this really, if you make a bigger bowl, this is a perfect hearty salad. Perfect winter salad. Let's try some. Some shrimp, some delicata together. Mm. Store-bought pesto. Just puts this whole thing over the edge. Mm. Shrimp and delicata squash. Who knew? So delicious. Well, I hope you guys had fun cooking with me today. I'm always here in the Food Network kitchen. Just type in Valerie Bertinelli and you can find me. Come back again, okay? <laughs>